This little video is to help uh, talk about how to use the little Roman oil lamps that I just made and also how to make a replacement wick if you like, if you use up the one that, that it came with. So these are, um, these are unfinished low fire clay. So it's good to use them on a saucer because eventually if they are left with standing oil, they'll, the oil will leak through and they do get warm. So it's good to put them on a heat safe um, plate or surface of some sort um, that won't be damaged by the oil. And the, the wick itself, you can make wicks out of lots of different things. The ones that I made for, for you guys are made from the sugar and cream uh, yarn, which is 100% cotton yarn that's often used to make dishcloths and things. And it's perfect for this because it burns really well and cleanly and it doesn't uh, have anything in it that you don't want to have burning in your home space. You can also use flax. You can twist a piece of flax or you can use, um, I've used mullein leaf, dried mullein leaf before for wicks, but they work really well with this um, sugar and cream uh, cotton yarn. So that's something to try. So the, the little wicks that you came with, I made them by measuring off a piece of the yarn and you can make them a double ply. These ones are four ply of the yarn. So I just took the piece of yarn and twisted it or you folded it in half and then holding one end just started twisting the other and you kind of straighten it out now and again and it's nice to just kind of put it against your leg and roll it too but it's harder to do on the surface of the table so I'm just gonna twist it like this until it's twisted about as much as you can as much as you can go and then holding the, the it's a little awkward but you hold the two loose ends together and then let go of that folded end and it just makes it twist back against itself so then I tied a little knot in the end so that it won't unravel and it makes it a little easier to to get it into the lamp and then I again this is much easier against your leg but I just twisted the the wick against itself to make it nice and firm and easier to work with. So there's that. To get it into the lamp, you can use a toothpick or an awl, or sometimes you can just thread it down in, and I tip it up and it kinda goes right in. This one's a little, some of them have a rough spot on the inside right where the, the drill made the hole for the spout. So in that case, you can just kind of poke it past that with a toothpick. And I made the wicks kind of long so that they can lay down in the bottom of that dish of the lamp. And you can, I'm gonna pack them up for you so they're, this part's sticking out a little bit. You might have to poke it down in a little bit more before you start using it, but that's the idea of the lamp with the wick in it and then to use it this is my test model and again this one has had oil in it for a day or so and you can see it's starting to leak through the bottom but I did leave the oil standing in the lamp so if you didn't want that to happen to, have to seep through as quickly after you're done using it you could pour out any extra oil back into a little jar and use it again later this one has a wick in it already, but let's try putting a new one in just so we can see how it goes, how it all works. So this one, I'm gonna put a new wick down in. And again, it's got that little rough spot so you can kind of feed it through with the toothpick until you can see the knot coming through there. And I'm just gonna pull it in 
There we go. And leave a little bit sticking out. And I'm using olive oil for these lamps at home. And we just got a really big jar of olive or bottle of olive oil from the store. And so to fill it up, you just pour the oil into the center hole and it's okay if some gets on that disc. Whoa, that went really full, but there's an air bubble, so it's gonna be okay. So that was exciting. Now that's got lots of oil in it. That will burn for quite a while actually with, the, um, with it filled. You don't have to fill it all the way up to the top. You can put just a little in the bottom too and it, it'll draw it up the wick. I notice sometimes if you only put a little in the bottom, with a new wick especially, you can kind of tip the lamp forward to help the oil start to soak into that cotton of the wick before, um, so it, it won't just burn the, the cotton yarn of the wick, it'll burn the oil instead. So this one, because I poured so much in and it made that crazy bubble, it, has oil all through the wick so it should be pretty easy to light you can and you can see this one it's sticking up from the edge of the, the lamp about a quarter of an inch and sometimes it takes a little bit to get it going in the beginning but it might take two no there it goes there it is so again it's very good to not leave them unattended, especially if you have cats or kids or breezes or in curtains. So just treat it like you would any other open flame. But they are really sweet and they burn, the, the one, this one, the test one has burned really well. And if you don't spill the oil all over the top, they look a lot nicer too while they're going. But because it's unglazed clay, the oil will just soak right in. Um, eventually it'll soak up into the, the clay. Or you could wipe it off too, but it's all good. So I hope you enjoy your lamp. And yeah, it's um, they're really fun. They were really fun to make. And, um, and they're nice to enjoy too. All right.